day and welcome to the viewers of this episode of SEIML Ventures. I am your host, John Evans. Today we are speaking with Laurent Kohler, who is the Chief Business Development Officer for Hong Kong DTEC, and he is the driving force behind the commercialization stage that his company is just now starting. As background, Hong Kong DTEC is a spin off company from Hong Kong Baptist University specializing in the field of in vitro diagnostics and life science. Thanks to the research and work of its experts, it can improve current screening and early diagnosis of many diseases. This will lead to an increase in the success of treatments and the quality of health care um, care for patients. So on that note, welcome back, Laurent. Nice to see you again. Um, thank you, John, and good afternoon to you. And thank you for having me uh, again uh, on your channel. It's really a great pleasure, and thank you for everything you're doing for the, uh, for the eco ecosystem Please, and for the whole industry. Really appreciate let's, let's that. Let's have a so, bit of a yeah. catch-up. It has been almost one year since our first discussion. So just bring the viewers up to date about what has happened inside the company since that time, any events briefly, but end with the comment you are, are now starting this commercialization stage that we really want to focus on. Yeah, I guess um, it's, it's a really great idea to start with a, a quick catch up because quite a lot actually has happened since our last uh, interview. So just to briefly give you the, the main uh, achievement and, and fact, you know, uh, over the, the past 12 months. So um, let's start uh, in a chronological order. So uh, first, you know, we have been working and adding two more proof of concept you know, on the R&D level. So for ELISA uh, and um, LFIA uh, types of diagnostic techniques. So ELISA being the antibody uh, tests, you know, that usually are blood based, so the, the classic serologic test that everybody knows. And LFI are the rapid test, I mean what is commonly um, named as rapid test. We also, so that's the, the main focus we had uh, over the past 12 months. And regarding um, commerce, let's say business developments, we, we had the chance to attend in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong Medical Fair last year in October. Uh, also, we were the boost in the Asia Summit on Global Health, which was in November last year also. So this, those two were like physical events. Uh, within the pandemic, was, that was really great for us. We could meet a lot of people. Um, then we got the renewal of our um, like tissue grant, you know, for the second year, which is the, the public uh, grant, one of the grants we, 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 we enjoy from the Hong Kong government. We also have been uh, accepted in the Science Park Incubation Program uh, so also at the same time in the end of last year and we started exactly uh, on 25th of Feb this year. So now we are, we are incubated at, uh, at Science Park. And, um, and so since then we have been working on the, 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 the release of the first range of products, which is a detection kit that we just uh, launched last month in July. And we are about also to release um, in September, you know, a reader um, for Force and Probe that we co-developed with a French com company in France. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the, the next product. So now we are, let's say, um, uh, ready to, 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 to roll. Uh, it's pretty excited. And uh, yeah, and if you have any question, uh, I'll be happy to okay, tell you more about that. So, so let's focus on your last two points and, and delve into the product and service offering. Tell us about the core offering of Hong Kong DTEC in, in sort of generic terms that the the ordinary listener can understand, and then the specific solutions or applications that, that you are being offered. Okay, so basically, you know, we, uh, HKD Tech, you know, we serve uh, mostly, you know, REO and IVD industries. So REO standing, you know, for researchers only. So it's mostly like any biology uh, research lab, no matter private or public. And IVD industry is related to all the IVD players. So it's kit manufacturers, uh, it could be service company, distributor, and all the player dealing with antibody and, uh, and protein, okay? So basically we provide them nanoparticles which enhance their work, no matter in the fields of research. Um, where they could, um, they can like make discovery much faster and a cheaper cost. Uh, and on the IVD side, um, the um, use of our nanoparticles give them a much uh, lower um, level of detection, right? 
and so the, the accuracy in the result are also much better, which, which improves substantially the result uh, um, and the, the product, the quality of the product of those companies. So that's to, to summarize uh, quickly what we are doing in the two, two um, main types of, of uh, customers. Okay, so you, you said yeah. you're serving two parts of the industry, the RUO and the IVD. So who yeah. are your actual core customers? Are they end users of the products, distributors of the products to end users, or, or both? Yeah, so that's also a very good um, a question. So we, we target mostly uh, end user, right? That's we, but we're also open to distributors in some cases where we cannot work directly uh, in some uh, in some country. For example, you have uh, some um, barrier to access, you know, mostly due to uh, some regulatory that we may not have yet, you know, or that just the markets uh, are structured according to the regulation uh, requires you to work with with a local uh, company. So then they are distributors you know but as soon i mean as as um, much as we can it's we target uh, the, the end okay. users That's so the, who are the competitors that you are facing and how does your offering compare um, or differ to these other competitors yeah <clears throat> And this is also a great question. Um, so we, our, our products, you know, we are doing a reagent. And uh, so if you, if you know how the reagent uh, market is mainly dominated by a multinational company, and we can, we can just mention like Thermo Fisher, I know Perkin Elmer, that are our main uh, competitor in terms of multinational, but there are also some startup working on similar, um, um, you know, cases and solution you know but no matter it's per, it's a multinational or startup they all have a different technology and different than ours and um, so the features are not the same than ours and to just summarize we offer like um, all the best features in only one product while the other technology just have some of them so this is really the, the main difference um, yeah, okay. So, so we've talked about the products, the customers, the competition. Let's now talk about Hong Kong DTEC's commercialization strategy. Explain to us your strategy of, of working with customers to work together to further the development of the offering. That's something I've noticed on your, on your website and brochure. Yeah, so this, you know, and this to bounce back on your previous question, why we target, um, you know, users, it's, you know, because that gives us uh, a, a much better, you know, um, uh, uh, position to get feedback, right? Because the first thing is that it's new products and it's not obviously easy for everybody, for anybody to just like uh, try and, and be successful at, at using it. So we want to make sure first that, uh, you know, they are like able to use it properly and get the full benefits. Of, uh, out of our technology, but also that's, you know, to find if there's any limit or obstacle that we may not be aware of, right? Uh, and, and to just get like those feedback to then further uh, work on the product development and, and be able to, to, to improve, to release um, upgraded uh, version, you know, um, in the coming months, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's something that is really um, key for us and being in direct contact with end user, that's what makes this so, possible. So let me ask yeah. a follow-up question to that because I'm curious that if this is going to be sort of a, a very close-knit integrated working relationship with customers where you're developing it together, um, how many of those customers um, do you expect to work with during this period? Because it sounds like each relationship will need a lot of time and attention. Yeah, and yeah, this indeed, you know, that's even if now we would be uh, just overflown by request, we know that uh, with the, the current stage of development, the team and the resources we have, it's to be to, to be able to deliver like a, a good um, a good job. We need to we cannot um, follow up too many customers. So the what we aim is like you know to have around ten customers in Hong Kong, which is our local market, domestic market, right? That we are starting with over the coming two, six to twelve months. You know that will be already like I would say more than enough. Um, yeah, but it's it's a realistic. Uh, target and also it's realistic in, in terms of follow-up you know that's uh, as you mentioned it's it, it wouldn't make no sense to have a, to have a uh, 20 30 uh, customer you know that we wouldn't be able to follow up with uh, okay. properly okay Laurent so walk us through 
some of the following key points. When does your launch start? So the um, launch has actually already started, you know, uh, with the release of the product last month and it will be over a period of six months until the end of uh, this year. Um, since, you know, we have some commercial events in Hong Kong, so we have uh, the medical fair in um, November as well as the Asia Global Summit on Health, but we, where we also have a booth. And we have in December a third exhibition in Hong Kong, which will be um, HK Bio, uh, um, organized by the Hong Kong Biotech Organization. So these are, those are the, the, the three main uh, events that will attend and this year will attend with our products uh, on, the, on the booth, right? Unlike last year where we couldn't uh, display any, any final product. So that, that's why this is really the, 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 the period until the end of this year. But we are um, focusing the sales effort uh, beyond those, those, those six months and, and the, the coming like 12 months from now until next year, same period of time will be, will be dedicated to the whole okay. market. Yeah, that's, uh, so you're, you're going to some market. Asian and fairs, yeah. but the geographic area you are targeting is Indeed. just Hong Kong in your first stage. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but maybe with um, also the, 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 the fairs in Hong Kong, it's mostly the audience is, is, uh, attendees are like people from Hong Kong. We may, we may meet also some people from overseas with the, um, and the, 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 the change in the, the travel restriction. So that, that would be great, but definitely the main focus is Hong Kong, even though we are thinking about the next stage, uh, which will be uh, Asia. Uh, developments and this for this part we we are now um, studying uh, two markets that we are um, considering to, to make a trial um, shortly in the coming months to see uh, which one we should tap into um, uh, next year because the uh, launch in Asia will start from next year and uh, from the second uh, part of 2023 that's where we were going to have uh, uh, like action, commercial action, you know, towards uh, markets outside of Hong Kong. But definitely the priority at this stage is Hong Kong. That's where we're incorporated. We can meet people. We can really spend time. We can understand the problematic. We can also explain how to use the technology, spend time in lab to really uh, experiment. And, and, you know, this, this is much, um, uh, much better um, um, situation than, than working remotely, especially in this, uh, in this, in this pandemic. Um, yeah, okay. With all the now, we, we've and, talked yeah. about the, the very interactive, collaborative approach you're going to be taking with your initial customers and you're focusing on Hong Kong. Yeah. So have you actually selected those 10 customers um, for your initial start yet? So we actually, yeah, we already have um, um, quite a lot of contact, you know, following last year, no matter, you know, following some uh, prospection, but also following the fair that I mentioned we, we attended. So we already have people um, that we, we, we are, we reconnected um, and recently following the release of the launch. So we'll see that's how it goes. We obviously um, will also uh, approach other um, uh, a new new contact that's um, in Hong Kong also, but the the ultimate um, goal is to get um, you know ten ten it's a regular user um, within the, the this launch period. So by the okay. end of twenty twenty. So I, I've seen there's there's a lot of new collateral um, that you've been putting out recently. So tell us about what else you're doing to support this launch events, collateral, other types of promotion, etc. Yeah, so um, we we actually work on, on quite a, a lot of things over the, the past six months, you know, starting early this year. So first, in terms of tools, you know, we first revamped our website. Uh, so the website is, uh, is, is uh, complete, you know, you can find a lot of information and very precise, detailed and clear information about the technology or product. Uh, that's one thing. We also have a... Um, uh, shop right online shop on the website where people in labs can you know order you know if they need anything for their for their work so that's one thing we create new marketing materials 
Um, we also created one special offer for the launch, which is called a starter pack, which is asked for people to try um, uh, uh, nanoparticles uh, with a special prices. So um, this is on the, the tool side. On marketing, we have launched a campaign on research gates, uh, which, uh, that, which is uh, really the, the, the main uh, platform you know in, in the industry uh, we also do we spend more time and uh, we are more active on the digital presence you know on the web and mainly uh, through LinkedIn and, and Twitter you know where we have weekly tweets and finally in terms of uh, of team um, so we are now in the process of hiring a former executive from the industry so this person is specialized in cancer research but biomedical and genom genomic technology um, biomedical testing services in vitro diagnostic techniques and he has extensive experience in both R&D but also in project development. Um, so this person will be able to, to introduce to, to various types of partners on, on both commercial and, and scientific level. Uh, he will also he has access to public hospitals, which could be really uh, great to get samples, but also like clinical trial. So that's, um, we are very happy uh, uh, to have this person joining the team uh, and on top of that something i forgot to mention this person know uh, has been working first and probe for a very long time he know really well the this specific uh, tech, tech, um, tech industry that we're working on and uh, and and so that really helped a lot because he, it's really uh, he's very thrilled about that very enthusiastic and uh, and it's uh, it's a really a, a great opportunity to have this person uh, to 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 join the team and and uh, to help us to really um, go go and uh, go beyond what we could probably do uh, alone at this stage so that's that's uh, probably the the main the main um, and the, the most uh, uh, powerful um, um, uh, uh, factor, you know, vector, you know, for the success, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, this person is probably starting like um, should start in the coming days. So we are very excited to to uh, to push sure, a little to follow next up. Level. Explain to the viewers exactly what research yeah. gate is. Is this a social media site? Um, just give us a bit more detail about that. So yeah, um, so we can let's say research gates. So basically, it's a, it's a website, you know, which connects only scientific. So that means people who have no uh, scientific background, means education or that are not working in in, uh, in this type of industry, I cannot have access. You know, that that's one thing. And, you know, so there is a lot of sharing about about information, but also publication, but also about new product, new technology. So it's actually it's one of the probably maybe the main um, online um, resource for people to, you know, to look for anything they need in, 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 in R&D. So ResearchGate, it's like, a, it's, it's a, let's say if you can compare it to, to, to let's say, social media, it's, it's, I would say it's like LinkedIn could be uh, for the, the professional industry and Facebook for, for, for more personal matters, but it's a really, really, uh, it's, it's the, the, the key and the, the main the main platform. So it's a really, uh, it's extremely powerful tools, you know, you can reach like all scientific in the world because a lot of them are on this platform. It's uh, yeah, incredibly uh, okay. Very interesting. Tool. Yeah. Okay, I mean you you've summarized most of the points of your strategy, but let's just close things off by looking at the um, last five months of 2022. What do you hope to achieve? What are your key goals that you would want to reach by the end of this calendar year? Yes, yeah, so um, as I mentioned uh, previously, it's to uh, to reach like you know uh, targets of uh, about you know ten customers in Hong Kong, and um, okay, this is uh, it's, it's just to have a, let's say it's on on purely commercial, but um, we also target to have feedback from them. You know that that's really something that I mentioned earlier. So it's very important, and and finally everything will lead us to more exposure and, and more credibility uh, on the market, not just in Hong Kong, but, but also beyond Hong Kong. So uh, that, that's why really the, the, the goal is to be able to, uh, to, to, to have this first footprint in the Hong Kong market. Yeah, so um, 
That's the, the, the plan uh, until... Uh, and the end of the year of is year. fast approaching. So we'll, we'll look forward and pencil in uh, yeah. another date, either at the end of December or the beginning of January, yeah. to, to look back at the five months and see how, how things went. And yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's exactly, yeah, we, we should definitely have a review, uh, as you said, the end of December or early uh, um, Jan before Chinese New Year, that would be really great to see what they've been achieved and, and I'll be happy to, to come again and to share more and to, to really see what we've been, um, uh, uh, what we've achieved by then and also to maybe tell you a bit more about under the, the plan for, for next year. That's great. And when, and when this yeah. video is published, Wrong. we'll be, be showing a number of graphics. I've got your brochures. Um, I've seen the various aspects to your website. So we'll highlight some of the things that you reference. You've got some very interesting visuals there that, that we'll also um, insert into the video. So Laurent, thank you very much for your time. That was a, a very interesting update. Let's not leave it for another one year, maybe diarize five months now. And uh, because it things seem, seems like Thanks. things are, are starting to move much more quickly for, for Hong Kong DTEC. And I wish you the, um, the best of fortune for, for your next phase of commercialization. Yeah, thank you, uh, John. Thank you again uh, for your time, for, for everything you've done. And, and uh, indeed, let's catch up maybe um, um, on, on um, a more frequent um, uh, frequency. That, that's really, really great. And um, so that's one thing. Um, yeah, let's catch up more often. And uh, yeah, so thank you again for everything. And I'll be, I'll be looking forward to uh, to have the next um, next interview uh, early next year. Okay, um, sounds good. So thanks for your time. Have a good day. Thank you very much, John, and see you next time. Okay.